My first impressions were confusion. Did not know at all what I was getting into. This was completely new territory to me, which was a good thing. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I know how this is going to go. It was, it was more the opposite. Like, this is a journey. Don't really have a map that I can tell. But um, as we get into it, I'm sure it'll work out. I was a little intimidated because I thought, my goodness, all these people are superstars in their own companies, in their own fields, and they truly were. But um, it, it taught me risk taking. You know, you opened up in a way, honest, honestly, I opened up with these people more so than I ever have at work, and probably with the ex with the exception of my wife more so than I've ever done with my family. Your talent, you know, you're, afterwards you sit back and go, I can't believe I divulged that to these people that were strangers a couple months ago. And um, you feel very comfortable, you know, you're a little threatened by it at first, very comfortable afterwards. The response, the help from them was amazing. And I really didn't expect that. I didn't realize I was such a poor listener. I am the kind of person, I was the kind of person, I should say, that as you're talking to me, I'm formulating my answer. I'm not listening to you. I'm, you're, I'm halfway through your, your sentence, I'm figuring out what I'm going to reply to you as opposed to totally listening. And it's more than just the words spoken. It is the feelings behind them, the facial expressions, all that comes into listening. And, you know, I, I realized that listening was not something I could multitask. You know, if, I, if my wife's talking to me about something, I better mute that ball game, you know, or I'm not going to catch what she's talking about. One of the keys to conflict resolution is understanding all the facts. And I was one of the person that, uh, one of the people that, as maybe I'm hearing the facts, I'm forming an opinion. I am jumping to conclusions. I am not, I don't need all the facts. I've got enough that I can go on already. Wrong. You know, much better to sit back, get all the facts in place before you form an opinion or a judgment on anything. I have the confidence now to meet with people at a higher level in an organization than I did before. I used to kind of get a little intimidated. Oh, this is the CEO or this is the president. Be careful with them. And, you know, as long as you know what you're talking about, you have confidence in the subject matter, everything's worked out very well for me. In our company, seven years later, we still follow these protocols in our regular business life. There's no interruptions. There's no questions asked until the speaker is done speaking. Then we go around the room and everyone will ask a clarifying question. And then you just ex ex you express your thankfulness to that person for their presentation. And you tell them what the, the things that they're doing good and the things that you appreciate from them. People could see the benefits. They could see the change in me. Uh, I was more engaging. I was a better listener. I was more self-confident. The course was well worth my time because it's, I feel that it changed me. It changed me for the better, absolutely. I'm a better listener. I care more about other individuals. And I met just a great group of individuals that will always be there to help me. I've grown, I've been given promotions. Financially, I've been, um, the company's been very gracious. Everything is much better these days.